In this video, we will be discussing functions of the form y is equal to ax squared plus q. We will be discussing the effects of q. So when q is greater than naught, which means it's positive, the function of x goes up. And alternatively, when q is less than naught, meaning it's negative, f of x goes down as in it shifts downwards or upwards. He has a set of axes. We'll draw a parabola that goes through the origin. So if Q is positive, it shifts upwards by however much positive it is. When Q is negative, it shifts down to the value of Q. So Q is equal to naught for f of x. The function doesn't go up or down. It stays on the origin, as you can see over here. Therefore, it's naught naught. So Q causes a vertical shift in the function. Here we will be discussing the effects of A next. When A is greater than naught, it means it is positive, meaning it's a smiley face, it's being feeling positive. If A is less than naught, meaning it's negative, it means that the graph is negative and is upside down. It's like a smile, but upside down. If A is greater than naught, but less than one, and as A gets closer to naught, The graph gets wider, as you can see over here. It means it's more negative, it means more narrow, as you can see there, and more positive means more narrow again. As you can see here, let's discover the characteristics of the parabola. When x is an element of all real numbers, there is no value of x where f of x is undefined. This means that all values from negative infinity to positive infinity allow for an f of x or a y value. So if a is greater than naught, then we say it's positive. a is less than naught, then we say it's negative. When x squared is greater than or equal to naught, as a is a perfect square, it's always going to be positive. If you have ax squared greater than or equal to naught, because a is greater than naught, ax squared plus q is greater than or equal to q. We add q to both sides, as you can see. Therefore, what we say is the function is greater than q. Or equal to q. If a is greater than naught, the range is q included, but not include infinity. This means that the lowest part of the graph would be that the value q. And you can never ever use square brackets with infinity. You can only use round brackets for that particular side. Now if a naught is less than or if a is less than zero, then the range is negative infinity tending to q. Now you can use the square brackets for q, but no square brackets for negative infinity. Let's do an example. If g of x is x squared plus two, let's find the domain and the range. Step one, we find the domain. We say that for all values of x, the answer would be real. Because if you put any number where it's positive or negative, if you square it out, like you can see above, the answer will be positive. The range, however, 
when x squared is greater than or equal to naught, we say that x squared is plus 2 is greater than or equal to 2. And therefore, the graph of g of x is greater than or equal to 2, and the range is between 2 and positive infinity, as we can see here. So it will be g of x is greater than or equal to 2.